we're going on a photo shoot. We're going to see my friend Khalid. He's an amazing photographer. We're in Richmond right now. And hopefully we can get some good shots of the Nomad while it's still clean. It's not scratched at all. We're basically just getting ready for the European trip. But then Khalid got available. So yeah, we decided why not? Let's see how it goes. We'll show you what the professional car photo shoot looks like. We're gonna go for a little drive. We're gonna see there are a few places in Richmond Park that I think they're gonna really work. However, we do have to be careful because there's lots of cyclists. So it might be difficult for us to find some clean space. So the shots are gonna look amazing. But we'll try. See you soon. Basically, there's an idea that we should drive this car. And then he will shoot from the boot. Cool. Try and get some motion as well, so. Are you happy with the light, the way it is right now? It's not too bad, it's not too bad. It will get better. The thing is, the sun's going down over there, but there's so much space over there. Yeah. You don't really see the sun coming down. And I like to shoot into the sun. Mm, that's nice. I love shooting into the sun. The yeah. first thing that they teach you, do not shoot into the sun. Yeah, Fuck no. you, the always shoot water is into, the into the sun or just at a slight angle. Have you ever shot anything similar to this? Like a buggy type car? Not a buggy, I mean, I've shot an Atom. Okay. Um, which is similar in terms of like the structure but obviously yeah. it's not it's a lot smaller and lower and sleeker it's very easy to light with like strobes and flash if i start putting strobes on it cool. um it, it would look really cool and i'm thinking maybe like in the car park in the car park okay. we can like darken there make it really moody road as well right this way facing that way let's have you facing that way so if you just reverse back how's it going we're filming we're shooting we're rolling Do you it was challenging sometimes just to like drive very very carefully not running into you while at the same time looking for shots and trying to make sure that it's going to look nice so mm. we'll see but you know, the light is really really good it's really good. hopefully that's going to work plus Khalid is amazing so I don't have any doubts that the shots are going to be fantastic Have you read about the story when the monkey pressed the shutter and then there was this big deal that the yeah, monkey who owns is the, the owner photo? of the photo yeah. because the monkey pressed the shutter, you know? So, oh, that's my monkey today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Can I have to do some more shots? Sure. Let's go for it. I'm just going to do one more shot just to get... Oh, I just did that just to get the, my ground exposure. Okay. Yeah. Get the light bar. Yep. Yep. I'm noticing something interesting. How every photographer has a face when thinking. Yours is very strange. Oi. So it is a very niche type photography. There's not a lot of people who actually do it. Um, professionally, no. Uh, but there are some some of the, the photographers that do do it. 
are like really really good photographers like they really know their stuff to do it professionally to at the top end uh, it takes a lot of skill to understand how to shape a car because car is essentially like it's got so many angles to it and so many materials and you know there's things that are matte there's things that are reflective really uh, it does test your skill in terms of lighting and understanding how to um, create the right light on a car so like art asked me one of the things you know why am I shooting like from high but the idea is that the car looks the lighting looks best when it's coming from high because it shapes the the shoulders of the car and the light then just kind of feathers down um, to create the shape so all the little vents and things that are in the side um, get lit with shadow as well and also retouching cars are probably one of the most difficult things to retouch is a car. There's um, so many details, you're right. Yeah, yeah, so many details. Um, you know, even on this, which is a fairly straightforward shoot because the car is actually very much a matte kind of car. There's no shiny bits on it, really. Mm. Um, but even still, you know, like even the smallest amount of dirt will show up. Um, so you have to go right, you know, at 100% you're going through and, you know, cloning things out, taking yeah. dust out and things like that. The good thing about this car is that it's generally it's meant to be a dirty car, so you can kind of leave the dirt in it. Um, but then it has to be. It looks best when it's dirty. It looks right? best when it's dirty, yeah. So would you say that this is more challenging than a normal type car, or is this easier just because it's matte? And... <coughs> in a way, it's easier because it's matte. Um, it's also more interesting because it's got shapes that come out in different angles. Okay. Uh, like you can see, like where the wings are and stuff, it's got little bits and pieces. So. Um, when you put light on it in the right way, even the natural light when you look at it now, the way it feathers uh, around things, around the curves, um, it's really nice. Um, so even like a natural light shot would look brilliant. I, I'm looking at the car right behind you and I can see that the way the, the sun is hitting it, it's just absolutely beautiful, you know. That's the perfect way to light, light the car. The sun is amazing right mm. now. Really, really yeah. good, even now. You know what, I'm going to just take my camera out and get another shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking when I'm saying that. That is love. <laughs> I'm going to go quite low. I don't film this bit. <laughs> so I'm gonna look oh, this safe. is more like me. This is more like my kind of shooting. I'm just going to let that car go. shooting a car you have to understand what that car's about because mm -hmm. um, you can't you know you can't put any car in any place um, certain cars will work in certain places like this works for this car because it's like a gravelly kind of track it makes sense you can't put like a um, an s-class Mercedes it, it just wouldn't look right mm -hmm. um, and you can put this car in a field or you know like anywhere almost <laughs> it'll be okay but there's certain cars that wouldn't um, so yeah, you need to understand the cars and what the cars are about and try and create an emotion that matches the personality of the car and the character of it. Um, there's a bit of a challenge in finding like creative spaces uh, for a car. I mean, people and stuff is easy in London. Yeah, there's, you just like, loads of places there. you can, but there's not many places. There's loads of places where the car would look great in London, but it's not always easy to get the car there. Um, the access, so is always access and security now, because you know, like even the bridges, I used to use the bridges a lot, um, but now they put an it's extra fat railing on, on the bridge so they don't look as nice. Mm. Um, it's unfortunate, but you know. The atom that you shot, did you get to go for a ride in it? No. I didn't. Really? No, I didn't get time. Who are these people? Yeah. I've, driven, I've driven an atom on a track before. Okay. So, film everything. <laughs> Is that like a rule that all photographers are really camera conscious? Yeah. Apart from this one. Yeah, apart from <laughs> you shy? Very. Clearly. 